Hi guys, I always see people fart in public without any kind of class or dignity. That is so wrong, okay? That's a crime against humanity, okay? You have to, wait, if you want to fart, you have to, you, you have to do it with dignity and class. You can't just open your anus and just let out toxic air in the midst of people Half the time, people don't even know where it's coming from. Some of you guys, when you open, when you open up and let out that toxic air, it's almost like a separate tank somewhere got busted and it exploded in the in the area, and people can't even breathe. So in this video, I'm coming to show you guys how to fart with dignity in class. If you feel your stomach just going, you know you're about to pass some very toxic air, okay? I mean, don't underestimate it, okay? Don't ever underestimate it because you see it's coming from in the intestine. And that intestine always has poop. It's going to go, it's going to pass and squeeze its way around that poop. And when it comes out, you don't know if it's going to stink or not. Especially if you've been constipated, it's the most deadly one, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to fart with dignity in class. When you feel your stomach going Okay, you know, you know the feeling I'm talking about. When you feel it, you got to prepare for the exit, okay? You got to prepare. When it's coming, just... Just, just put your hand back there like this, like you're stretching. You don't want, you know how, you see how my hand is relaxed? Just do like you're stretching. You don't want nobody to notice anything weird about you, okay? When you're doing this. So, you just do like you're stretching and then you want to, you want to catch. You want to squeeze a little bit of the fart out. You want to squeeze a little bit of the fart out like... Mm. And then you want to catch it like this. Trust me, the little bit that you squeeze out, if you go like this, right at your butt, at your anus, you will catch a little bit. You will catch it with your hand, okay? It's not going to escape. So you don't want nobody to notice. So you just do like you're stretching like this. You squeeze a little bit out in your hand. You, you hear me scratch at my butt? Mm -hmm. You hear me scratch, but people won't notice if you act like Ugh! you squeeze a little bit like this, and then you just go, you know, you it's, it's like you're testing, you're testing it to make sure it doesn't smell so bad, so you don't pollute everybody around you. So you go, mm -hmm, and you just. Now, if it smells really bad, don't let it out, okay? If it doesn't smell bad, then you just kind of ease it out. But if it smells bad, try to find a bathroom somewhere because you can't fart and it smells like poop and you say it's okay. It's not okay. It's like taking a poop right in public. If it smells like poop, then you just took it in public. You can't do that. So just... Take, get a little, squeeze a little sample out, and it's just oh, you know what this is, you know you act like you're stretching and you can, you know just do that. And if it doesn't smell like I said, you just ease it out, and people will remain in peace. Because sometimes when when some people fart, they disturb everybody. Okay, like some people do it in the movies. Can you imagine? No, but see. Take my advice. From now on, don't do it. Don't do it. If you if you test, if you get a little sample and you know that it smells very funky, go to the bathroom. Go go to the bathroom, okay? Anywhere people go in this country, there's public bathroom. Take your stinky stinkiness to the bathroom. Don't 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 come and just open your sewage right in the midst of everybody. Go to the bathroom.